Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Smokies and Bunties on the Avenue and today is a special day because we at Smokies and Bunties always um, want to pay special gratitude to our sportsmen and also our people who are involved in culture and today we're going to be handing out some appreciation plaques and medals first of all to our national boxers who recently came back from the CSC Games. Um, we had four boxers going to the Games. Uh, one won a silver, one won a bronze. The two others did a great, a great job. But we felt it necessary to award all the boxers because we felt it's time that Trent Tobago pay special attention to our athletes. We're not going to be awarding things based on medals. We're going to be awarding uh, appreciation to the athletes for doing their best at any event. Um, all protocol observed, and I will just switch on over now to Lisa McKenzie, the owner of Smokers and, um, Smokies and Bunties, to welcome you to her establishment. Lisa? Um, I'd just like to welcome everyone, and especially the boxers. I mean, when, when George came to me with the idea, I mean, I was very thrilled because you know, anybody who knows Smokey and Bunty, we've been around the next year going to be 30 years. And, you know, we always big on supporting and our local athletes and our local artists. So, you know, we were very honored that, um, you know, George, you know, came to us with the idea. And we welcome you all. We welcome everybody for coming here. And, you know, Today we hope you know that we really, really appreciate our local athletes. So I'll hand you all over to George and Solange. Solange, yeah. A sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. Nelson Mandela. With all protocols observed, good afternoon everyone. What a profound statement of Nelson Mandela. A sport has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why we are here this afternoon. To celebrate the performance of the boxers that successfully represented us in the recently concluded CSC Games. And I say performance deliberately because quite often we celebrate those who medal and excel in international competitions, but we fail to acknowledge those who didn't medal but performed the best to their abilities. <laughs> performance is not only colored by gold, silver, or bronze but by the commitment to the sport, to your team, to yourself. Performance is knowing that sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Performance is that each within yourself to never give up, no matter the circumstances. A sport has the power to inspire, Mandela said. When you get knocked out, when you are back against the ropes, when you remember all the hours of pain and agony that you endured, all the sleepless nights, all the time that you have to say no to a friend that invites you out because you have to be committed to your cause. That, ladies and gentlemen, is true inspiration. Knowing what you want, knowing that every punch is getting you closer to your dream, knowing that the bell is going to ring at any time 
And at that moment, your hand is going to be lifted because you earned it that moment. You earned it that prize. Sport has the power to change the world. With these eight worlds, Mandela has in fact changed the world of many athletes and ordinary people, including myself. Those who feel me believe that the world could be a better place if we just do a little bit, but we do it with love, with passion, with the desire to see others succeeding and getting ahead in life, with the desire of being one ordinary person doing extraordinary things. A sport is a source of joy, a vehicle to bring peace and harmony, a tool for development, empowerment and connection. A sport does make a difference regardless of what we believe. A sport as a whole is just a beautiful thing. And I am extremely proud to stand before you here today, this afternoon, as the founder of the Solange Guzman Caribbean Sports Academy, a company that emerged out of my, arch, of my charter dreams with one solid vision, to foster a culture that promotes well-being, athletic development and educational achievement for all people. And I know that some of you may be wondering why are we doing this? And my answer to you is that everything we do is centered on the Nelson Mandela statement. We do believe that the sport has the power to change the world. And little by little, we are making steps to accomplish our mission to cultivate a framework to achieve excellence in sport and education through a youth-centered environment, consistent high-quality services, services and professionalism. We believe that the sport does and can make a difference. And I say we because although I am the one standing before you today, I am representing four amazing, incredible, talented persons that believed in me and in the concept of the Solange Guzman Caribbean Sports Academy. And they are George Mattison from Scoreboard, Lisa McKenzie, owner of this beautiful sports bar, James Beard, football athlete and founder of the West Indies Foot Football Academy, and Maria Thomas, national rugby player and member of the Trinidad and Tobago Rugby Association. These extraordinary folks are the ones that made this celebration possible because they are the academy event management team. But honestly, we are not a team, we are family. And I personally want to thank all of you guys for making my dream possible. For believing in me when no one else did. And on behalf of all of them, I wish to encourage you to continue working toward your destiny, to never give up, and to lastly, to continue flying the red, black, and white, and to always, always believe in yourself and believe in who you are. Thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure to share this afternoon with you. It's always a pleasure to be here, to enjoy the camaraderie with those of us who have a vested commitment to the development of sport in Trinidad and Tobago. More particularly this afternoon, when Solange, with her Caribbean Sport Academy, is launching this afternoon, this event, and not only the, the event, but her companies. This initiative is indeed a celebration and quite fitting to honor our athletes, our boxers who participated in the CAC Games, who did their best, who performed well, and we all in Trinidad and Tobago supported their efforts. A little recognition goes a long way, and I'm sure they will enjoy and celebrate the trophies that you're going to present them with this afternoon. But it's always important to reflect 
on athletes who have demonstrated that passion, that commitment, that discipline to go out to do the hard work, to seek to achieve their vision, which is being the best that they can be. And they must always be congratulated and encouraged and given the support that we are all gathered here this afternoon to do. I want to say to you, Ms. Guzman, and your company, that at the NLCB, this is the type of initiative, community, sport, national, that ought to be encouraged, promoted, and we look forward to the opportunity to supporting you and all the boxing fraternity with your monthly events that are planned for this venue. So I want to say special thanks and give best wishes to all you boxers who made us proud and to you again, the Caribbean Sport Academy for taking this initiative. Lisa, thank you again for opening spot Smokey and Bunty for the sport that we have always known and enjoyed. Thank you. Well, Mr. Brown mentioned a hint of it. We intend to bring amateur boxing to Smokies and Bunties on a regular basis. And we are going to change the way the avenue look at sports and Smokies and Bunties. Smokies and Bunties is going to be one of the top international venues when we start to launch our program. Because it's not only boxing, we have a lot of other programs and uh, different things to put on here. And stay tuned, you're going to be hearing much more. Well, this time we want to take this opportunity to show our appreciation to the boxers who really went out there and did well. Mr. Paul, congratulations for your outstanding achievement in representing this nation and excelling. May you go from strength to strength, brother. Michael Alexander, and he won the silver medal. Uh, we would like uh, Lisa to come forward and present uh, Michael with his uh, track of appreciation. Congrats, Michael, for a job well done. other boxers going to the games they didn't medal but again when you listen to what Solan said we do not look at medals we look at showing appreciation representing your country we have with us lone female Tina Guide Guy and she is one of the boxers who have now started playing her trade and she is doing a pretty good job. She is coached by Bharat Ramuta and our former champion, Rhea Ramarain. Tina, we'd just like to ask Solange to present her with her appreciation. We have one more boxer, Aaron Prince, he's not here. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna ask the Vice President of the Trent Tobago Amateur Boxers Association to say a few words and also to accept the award on behalf of Aaron. We ask uh, Mr. Reynold Cox. To the owner, Pam, and Solange, 
and thank you for um, appreciating us. I mean, it's, it's always good as we um, boxers or athletes be appreciated by um, John Public for the performances that they put out in um, international events. It's always a, a plus for them. And, you know, we, we, it's an encouragement for us to really go out and work harder and to make the country proud. So, you know, the chanted, um, Baffi the chanted Big O'Hara um, Boxers Association, the coaches who here, um, national coach, Floyd Trumpet, Mr. Bad Ramuta. You know, we have been working hard for most part of this year, even last year. And coming here today is really an honor for us. Even even greater than, than um, coming in to the airport and medals and speaking to the Mesa Sports or whatever it is. It's a real honor that we can be honored by um, Smokey and Bunties and Mr. Lunch. Thank you very much. Well, we know that the boxers could not have accomplished what they have accomplished without the assistance of their coaches. So we have some special gifts for the coaches, and we'd like to call, first of all, Floyd Trumpet to receive his um, little gift that we have for him. Congratulations. And Please take boxing into the next to the next level. Okay, we'll appreciate that and thank you for all. Uh, we'd like to call uh, Mr. Reynolds Cox. Mr. Cox, congratulations to you for your sterling effort in this sporting discipline. We look forward to you going from strength to strength. All the best. Okay, and finally, we'd like to call Mr. Bharat Ramuta, the coach of uh, Tina Guy. And this will be presented by Lisa McKenzie. the councillor for the Woodbrook area, but she is not really here as the councillor today. She is here as the physio for the Trinidad and Tobago boxing team that went to the CSC games, and I guess it's fitting for her now to give us a little insight of what you saw and tell Trinidad and Tobago how these boxers perform. Good afternoon everyone. Um, both Nigel and Michael, um, I had gone to Commonwealth Games with them and at that time it was the start of the season and it was a tough season, tough first fight. They had met two great opponents and didn't make it quite, didn't do quite well. But they came back to Trinidad and they did train and this is the results of what we got and this is why we are saying hard work and we need sponsorships for these guys, we need money pumped into this sport to actually get it off the ground and to get them training. We can't have athletes like this working and training, it just can't happen, right? Because they train twice a day. We need proper nutrition, we need uh, therapy done for them, you know, we need psychological support. The most important thing is psychological support for these athletes, right? Because I mean, I was there when Michael lost this fight, and I had to, I had to go into the male toilet and pick him up off the floor. All right. So these are things and the challenges that these athletes have, and I am with them most of the time on these trips. And I have to be Oka, water girl, mother, sister, friend. All right. I'm not the role that I, you know, have gone there to do. So. You know, I want to congratulate them because I know they're working really hard and we're going to be working really hard towards Pan Am Games and the Olympics. Thank you. Well, we would like to say thank you very much to all those who have attended here, the boxers, the trainers, and all those who came to pay uh, their tribute to our athletes. And as I said before, from time to time, we are going to be paying tribute to our athletes right here at Smokies and Bunties. We started with boxing because there is a plan for the boxing. 
but we are not going to forget our track and field athletes, our cyclists, and all other athletes, both male and female and teams. Because as I said in the beginning, we need to show appreciation and we need to support our athletes, not only when they win a medal, but when they compete. So again, um, we want to say, Lisa, thank you very much for accepting this proposal that we outlined for you. We want to thank everybody who are here this afternoon, and especially the boxers. We, the members of the Solan Guzman Caribbean Sports Foundation, is going to pay special attention to you all. And wherever we feel that we can help and assist you all, we are going to do it. So again, congratulations, and thank you again. And this is the end of our formal part of the function, but we ask you all to stay with us. We have some refreshments for you all, and again, congratulations.